Okay, um, we're gonna install a steering wheel on an E36 1998. Um, before you do that, first thing you wanna do is disconnect the battery. I'm gonna do it in a second. But we got NRG short hop, renowned steering wheel motorsport with all of the M stitching around them and suede, and it's a hundred millimeter deep. So it's gonna sit like this. That's why I got the short one. I can later upgrade to a, a quick release on top of this or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure, I gotta do some more research. But when you wanna buy this, you wanna make sure the um, holes match your steering wheel. Six bolt, most of the six bolts should match. Don't quote me on that, but that's that's how it is. Um, so right now we're gonna go outside, disconnect the battery. So. All right, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. It's a 13. It's a negative, you take the negative off. Cover it with this so it doesn't touch it again. That's it, you, your car is disconnected. Double check just to be sure. Nothing. Because if you don't, the airbag is gonna pop up. All right, now we need two screws here and here to be open. And you wanna make sure your steering wheel is straight. All right, I went ahead and loosened one bolt here one bolt over here you can move this up and down if it's blocking you but um i forgot where it was now i think it was here um or some people just turn it like this and so it's up here and down here which is way easier to get to but i don't know it's fine for me um yeah so this should come off boom that's the airbag you don't want to fuck it up and you just gotta unplug those wires now we need to get this which releases the whole string and that's it i think it's a 16 millimeter but i am not sure so it is a 16 you want the extendo actually might not need it let's see yeah i'm just gonna put the extend though this gun is gonna be super tight and this is the probably if you're a girl trying to do this either call your boyfriend or call me um yeah not happening don't call him don't call me call your boy fucking boyfriend um let me try actually i can't let's go to get my finish Leverage Got it loose With the help of Amir Amir uh, Before you take it all the way out You want to wiggle the room So this is already loose If it wasn't you want to do it Because if this isn't on The bolt isn't on And you're trying to make it loose like this It's going to get loose And it's going to hit your face Take this off my steering wheel is kind of off centered right now, leaning towards the left. So I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. You don't want to touch this at all. Touch that at all, at all. And then, before I do anything, I'm going to get my NRG hub and renown steering wheel ready. All right, this is nice because it has a bolt on the top 
it has this on the top and it has a marker so this is the top so this has to sit on the top I don't need to put a marker or put this on and see how it sits and stuff you want to slowly take this off fuck we got this this fucking I think it's for the horn not sure take this off Fill up head, take the one screw out down here. Let's see. This comes off or breaks off. Whichever one you prefer. I didn't break it. Alright. Can take this off. Push this part. Thumbs up. <laughs> this is the best part. We got these. I caught my finger, bro. Are you holding the button? You don't have anything. This is the button I got, but again, I have to rewire the horn. Probably gonna do it and edit it at the end of this video. Renown. That's the brand. They're based on San Francisco. Even their tape is renowned, bro. That's crazy. They come with the, the it comes with the bag and two stickers. I like this sticker. It's kind of old school and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna put it on the car, or at least for now. Um, and yeah, this comes for the wiring and everything. This is the ground. You supposed to do it here, and another one that comes in there. Do it here and bolt. Put a bolt in it, but again, I'm doing that later. The Allen key and fucking Allen screws for this six of them. put this on and stuff it's gonna look like this sauce instant sauce so all right this is the short hub that steering wheel attaches to attaches to and these are this is the mechanism that cancels out the turn signal so you bl it's blinking you turn and then you go straight it automatically turns off the blinker for you I, I took this off first, but now I'm rewiring the horn, so I'm putting it back on. Because might as well, because I'm putting the horn. Who doesn't want to have it? And these holes just don't line up with the holes on the NRG. These holes don't match up with the NRG hub holes. You just got to make it a tiny bit bigger. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Like, see, that doesn't line up. That doesn't line up. All right, it's back on. This is for your horn. This is ground. This is airbag, so you can just tuck away the airbag right here. Or cut it off. I'm not going to cut it off. Why the fuck would I do that? I'm, unless I need to. So don't quote me on that in a second. Ground. I'm going to hold it with the hand, see if it works. And then positive. It's... Honk, motherfucker. Car's off, but it would honk, right? Um... I wasn't ready for it to work. Um, well, it works. Oh fuck! I can't just honk inside my house. Um, yeah, you just put that on. So I'm gonna finish that somehow because the screws a little too tiny. But I gotta figure something out. 
Alright, um, you don't actually need the screw because since it has a ground the wire already, you can just wire the ground wire on the horn to the ground wire on the steering wheel or the car. But since I'm not cutting this off, not gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna take this off, try to somehow stuff these behind the hub because they all they're not fitting inside of the hub. This is a short hub, NRG short hub, so it's a tight squeeze in here. I tried to make it work, it's it's not gonna happen. Um, so I'm just gonna try to squeeze everything behind this whole thing and then put this on. So I'll do that and then update you guys. So I was going to do wire connect the wires uh, ground wires together using a um, screw with the hole but these we need to tuck back behind the nrg short hub so i'm just gonna solder it with a soldering gun that i have here so i'm just And soldering is basically you heat this up, melt it, melt it, and then this is this transfers electricity. I forgot what it what it called. Using this shit, and it gets hot. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll I'll put this behind the energy hub now. And then this goes on the ground. And positive is this one. And this will be tucked back in because that's airbag. All right, this is how it looks. It works too, but my car is off right now. And I already hung so many fucking times for tests. Boom. They're matching if you didn't know. I'm happy with it. Right now, the color you guys are seeing right now, it's not that color, actually. It's, this is like black. I don't know why it looks... Um, kind of brown and purple-ish. This is black. I mean, it's a little bit grayish, to be honest, but this is not purple at all. I don't know why. This is Alcantara suede. If you have it on your car, you gotta know how it looks like. If you don't, sorry, I don't speak broke. Yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully it helped. Any question, just drop it down and let me know. And I have my um, turn signal cancellation. It cancels it out by itself automatically as I'm turned. People said, oh, you can't do it with the short uh, hub. NRG short hub. Nah, bro, it works. Hit your boy up and I'll let you know. You just put it in. Same thing, but you just got to modify the holes a little bit as I showed you guys in the video. Thank you so much and that's it.